It's 2023. Are you ready to start your photography business? Let's get started. What's up everyone? My name is Sal Sincata. I am a wedding and portrait photographer and I've been doing this for about 15 years now. Not the YouTube stuff, the wedding photography, the portrait photography, the senior photography. Uh, so I've been there, seen a thing or two, and I'm pretty sure I can help you. So let's start talking about it. The business of photography in and of itself, well, that's a multi-hour conversation, all right? So this is kind of like, it's just gonna whet your appetite a little bit, get you going. A little short burst, get you going, come back to the channel, we'll do more business stuff, I promise. When I think back over my career, over the last 15 years, of everything that I went through, success and failure, right? Anybody who tries to tell you that starting a business that they were successful, right out of the gate, well, they're full of crap. The reality is the most successful people have failed many, many times, myself included. And so what I love doing in, in videos like this uh, for YouTube or if I'm teaching in person, what I love to do is talk about those failures uh, because if I can help you avoid one pitfall, right? It was worth your 10 or 15 minutes watching this video or just worth your time in general. And so that's what I wanna do. I just wanna help you um, avoid those pitfalls. Shameless plug right now. If you wanna learn hands-on, I'm just saying, you need to come to the best photography conference on the planet right there. I'm representing colors right now, uh, where you can work side by side with myself and a ton of talented photographers from around the world. So it's this April, we'll see you there. All right, let's get back to it. When I think about my photography career and all the pitfalls, right? We all got started for the same reason. We love photography. We're passionate about photography. We love creating and that everything that goes into it. What do we hate? Literally everything else that goes along with it, right? If you're like me, oh my gosh, the billing, the accounting, uh, the the editing, the customer service, the you know just customer request. I just want to go out and shoot every day. I want to be out there photographing every day, working uh, in the field. That's my happy place. But all these other things, the business, get in the way. And that's where when I was starting out, what I'm going to talk to you about didn't exist. Um, and as you scale your business, one of the things you have to figure out is how do you as a solopreneur, I'm sure you've heard that term before, how do you as, a, as an independent photographer and business owner, how do you put on a face to the rest of the world that you're not this tiny little business kind of running out of your closet, so to speak, right? How do you give it that big world feel? And customer service is the one area where you fall, you fail. And that's what happened to me in the very beginning. I couldn't keep up with getting contracts out. I couldn't keep up with billing. I couldn't keep up with following up on leads, uh, sending out reminders, right? I needed a dedicated person just for those items. And that in and of itself, when I finally figured that out, my business started growing. My business started scaling because I wasn't dropping all these other balls, right? We've all been there. You're up late at night, you're realizing you got 10 emails in your inbox that you haven't responded to for four days. Um, customers are asking you about status of their order or, or you got customers who are trying to give you money but your, your billing's, right, it's a nightmare. The number one challenge you're gonna face in scaling your business um, is dealing with the customer and everything that goes along with it, right? From booking, if you think about the customer journey, from booking to um, you know, final delivery of product. There, there's a lot of steps in between, a lot of communication in between. You've got some choices you can make. You can hire an employee, of course, uh, but that costs money. And most solopreneurs, most photographers that are starting out, they don't have budget to hire uh, additional headcount. And that's okay. We, we don't expect you to do that, but you also have to put that big business hat on uh, and be responsive to your customers. If you think about everything we have to do as photographers, uh, you've got to shoot, edit, order. I'm just looking at a list on my computer because I'm like, what do I do as a photographer? And then it was just like brrr, everything, right? Um, shoot, edit, order, delivery, follow-up, billing, uh, model releases, contracts, all those things you have to do day in and day out and keep track of where they, they all are. Everything was paper-based for us. I would lose track of things. I wasn't getting model releases from people. Uh, I was having clients that owed me money and I forgot they owed me money. Anybody ever do that? So those are the kind of things that were going on on repeat, and that is just bad for business. So if there was one piece of, of advice that I can give you as an up and coming photographer who's looking to either start in 2023 or go full time in 23, maybe you've been doing it as a hobby, uh, I would say 
Rather than hire an employee, use a tool. This is a tool we use. I've been using it for, I've been using it since they came out. I want to say we're on seven plus years. No, I had to look to Alyssa. We've been using this tool for seven plus years. I was using it before it was actually called 17 Hats. So it's a tool that I feel very confident in looking in the lens, uh, so to speak, and telling you this is something you should consider adding to your workflow because what it's gonna do for you is rather than hiring an employee, 17 Hats becomes that kind of like virtual employee for you, handling a lot of the things that you do day to day that are just eating up a bunch of time. Things like, and I'm gonna show you some samples of this, so hang tight for me. Things like quote, contract, invoicing your clients, model releases for your clients, um, automation, right? We hear the word automation and a lot of photographers who love this like personal touch uh, with their clients, which there's nothing wrong with that, but we hear the word automation and we think, oh, well, you know, it's gonna sound mechanical. Well, no, that's not true. Automation allows you to scale your business by sending out reminders. D does a reminder to your client that their photo shoot is tomorrow and don't forget, we'll see you there at 3 p.m. Does that need to feel like warm, fuzzy, personal? I don't think it does. You can write a pretty generic soft email that goes out, right, 24 hours before every photo shoot you have. If payments are due, reminders out for your wedding clients. We remind our wedding clients a month before the wedding that their payments are due. I don't wanna have to remember that. I, I'm not going to remember that. I would much rather the system do that for me, right? So things like billing, reminders, client touches like their anniversary, um, all in one place. And that's how we use 17 hats to this very day uh, in our business. So I'm going to show you a sample site uh, that 17 has created. It's, you're seeing it on your screen right now. All your dog's needs all in one place, right? You just put some puppies on screen, people are gonna click, I suppose. Uh, but what I want you to see here is how you can use 17 hats as your customer relationship management system uh, to take care of your contracts, take care of your leads, take care of your scheduling, take care of your billing, all in one place. Again, as I sat here, you know, we're in February now of 23, and I think all these photographers that I talk to that are starting their business, and they're asking me, you know, what's this one piece of advice? And, you know, what's the one lens I should have? What's the one? None of that matters if you can't run the back end of your business, right? So this is the part where I think this is foundational. So if you're looking to start your, your, your business, of course your website, of course your camera, Right, these are foundational items, but your customer system, your workflow, your contracts, your billing, your scheduling, having that scalability, that is foundational to getting going. If you're not willing to invest in something like this, I'd say you might not be ready to, or serious about running an actual business. You can't run your business through email. It just doesn't work that way anymore. So check this out. All your websites, you have lead forms, right? Many of you have lead forms on your sites, or maybe you don't, which is even worse, um, but a way for people to contact you on your website. So what you're seeing here is uh, a, a way to embed a contact form from 17 hats into your website. So all you gotta do is take this embed code, put it into your, your website, and now that form's showing up there. And when somebody submits, it goes right into 17 hats where you can manage your contacts and your leads. Okay. This is powerful as well, scheduling. Now you don't have to put all this on your, on your main page. That's not what I'm advocating here. I'm just trying to show you how you're using, this is all driven by 17 hats and embedded in your website. So you don't have to be a wizard. You don't have to, you just have to know how to copy, paste. It is super simple to put it into your uh, website. And so now you could say to your clients, after they pay for a session, you can send them a link to a web page on your site that's hidden from the navigation. Say, hey, got your payment, schedule your photo shoot. And then they can click on something like this, click on schedule, and what's gonna pop up is a calendar of your availability for them to select, right, their, their date. Very, very powerful. You can also, right, have lead forms on your website. Uh, and you can see here at the very bottom, the example here, schedule your obedience training. I think we probably all need obedience training of some form or fashion. Uh, but this allows you to embed and pick a date and time, schedule your photo shoot, schedule your consultation. Maybe you don't let people book direct to a photo shoot, 
maybe you have them book a one-on-one -on -one consultation first and then, right? If you're a wedding photographer, maybe you wanna meet one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, schedule your one-on-one -on -one meeting uh, and this can all be done from your website. So I can select the date here, I'm selecting the 17th and all of a sudden all these times pop up. You control what times are available. This is stuff that you were doing via email back and forth 10 times. Well, I have this date, this time, this date, this time. Or you'd hire an assistant to do it seems kind of like a waste of money. This is all now being done through the scheduling app on times you're making available. You may say, I don't want to take meetings after four o'clock. Great. You would set that up in the system. Super easy to do. Okay. Now they select uh, a time and then here they can set, they can say this, set this up so that it's, you're selecting a time for a meeting, answer a few questions for me. So if this were for weddings, for example, I could say select a time for your one-on-one. -on -one. The next set of questions could be, what's your fiance's name? What's the wedding date and time, etc. cetera. Send your contact information uh, once you fill this out and then it'll give you a confirmation. That's pretty powerful. And that's taking, uh, that's making your job easier. So again, the spirit of what I'm trying to impress upon you is that if you are serious about going into business in 2023, you've got to start doing serious business things in 23, right? Stop operating like this disorganized, chaotic, artist that you are, you know who you are, you know what I'm talking about here. We're all guilty of it and start just getting a little bit more organized. And to me, that's what that platform represents. Easy to use, set up and get going. Uh, the, the one other thing I want to show you on this, right? Let's say, for example, you do want, maybe you're doing headshots, maybe you're doing boudoir sessions and you don't want to sit here and field all these calls. Maybe you're working part time uh, as a photographer and you've got a full time job. I don't want to take all these phone calls, right? So what I want to be able to do is say, if you want to schedule my session, you're going to do it right on my website, right? So check this out. If I click on schedule my session, now it takes me to the dog walking in this example where my packages are listed. So they now see your services, right? This could even be a hidden page. So you could, you could wait for clients to contact you first and say, I'd like more information. Then you have, now you have their email in your system that you can follow up email with them, right? Send them a couple of nudges and then say, thanks for reaching out. If you'd like to learn more about your session or book it, click this link. That takes you to here in our example, the dog walking service where it explains it's got the puppy love boot camp. So you would select that. Now they can schedule a date and time and it's We can set up a questionnaire so we can put in the dog's name. My dog's name is Capone. He is an Italian Greyhound. He's a real dog I had, by the way. So we're just following along this questionnaire. That questionnaire could be for your wedding business, uh, your boudoir business, right? Your senior business. It's gonna ask for some more contact info. This contact info, uh, is all you're controlling what you want to know about that person. You're building this form and it's going to take payment and bill them for that session. Your hands off for all of this. All of this is built in to the platform. So it's allowing you to feel like you've got multiple employees keeping things moving forward when it's just that system doing it for you. All right. And that to me is one of the most important. And when they fill this out, boom, they get billed. You get your money. Uh, the, everything's filled out. It could be a contract. It could be a model release. Everything's done for you. You control that workflow. Now you have a system that's helping your business grow. And so if you're serious about becoming a photographer in 23 and actually making money at it, these types of systems, these types of lessons learned from studios like mine that have been in this business for 15, 20, 30 years, all of us who've been around can attest to the importance of having your foundation there to make it easy to do business and easier to make money. So I hope that helps you. We're going to do a series of this stuff moving forward this year. I want to be able to help you grow your business and achieve whatever dreams and goals you have as a photographer. We'll see you in the next video.